Hello my friends. This is another video of my 2021 Toyota RAV4 where I inspect the high voltage cable end near the back of the car. I love the car and I think it's a quality car. That being said, every manufacturer makes a few goofs every now and again. This might be one of them. You might have heard of it. They even have a name for the f up. Cable gate. Before we get started, a few things I did to keep safe. I removed the main traction battery disconnect, which is located on the right hand side of the back seat, using a Phillips screwdriver. Then with care I pried the cover off with a small flat screwdriver. Also it was the perfect time to check the battery air filter which is part of the cover. In case you didn't know, the main battery is under the whole length of the back seat, which is probably a good reason not to spill anything on it. Notice the warning here? It refers to the battery disconnect. And here is the disconnect, which is quite easily removed. I just pulled down, flipped up the handle, and pulled it out. Once that was out, I put it in a safe place so nobody could reinstall it. Also, I used jack stands to support the vehicle in the correct location as recommended. Once under the vehicle, I could see the splash pan. Looking up over the pan, we can see the orange connector. That's the high voltage connector to the rear motor generator. Notice the plastic connectors. They come off with a small flat screwdriver. There are two on the back and one on the front. Here I am taking the camera up over the pan so you can see a close-up of the connector before we drop the pan. This car in no way was ever taken off-roading or through any water deeper than a couple of inches. Now I notice three small cap screws on the front that needed to come off. Once the pan was off, I was surprised to see quite amount of dirt in the pan, which means the connection would also be subjected to a certain amount of dirt. Now back under the car, we can see the open side of the high voltage cable. I noticed the support mesh was covered in dust that could also contain a certain amount of road salt, which would eventually cause corrosion. But I didn't see any corrosion on the wire mesh yet. Two cap screws on the back hold the connector in place. One on either side. I took those out, gave it a tug to get showered with dust and some white powder. Not a good sign. The connectors themselves look clean enough, but look how dirty the rubber seal was already. The white metal or aluminum was starting to corrode near the seal. It certainly looks like it could be a problem in the future. I am considering the application of some high voltage dielectric silicone grease made by Novogard to the seal on the connection. From what I can see I don't think it will be too long before the corrosion gets past the seal. The connector is back in. I notice the cable run to the front along here and I think I would replace it myself if need be. I seen a price quote for $2,000 for the cable. The complete job was quoted around $6,000. That's with the garage doing or the, the dealer doing the work. Again, this is not a job for somebody who is not familiar with working on cars or electrical systems. Hope you enjoyed my video.